This week, we're going to cover a selection and repetition in JavaScript. And you will notice that it is very similar to uh, selection and repetition in other coding languages. So by selection, uh, we're basically talking about if, if else, and switch statements. And then repetition is do um, or do while, while, and for loops. And so you're going to read through the chapter in your book and then go through the lecture demo. And we kind of start out with comparison uh, and logical operators because those are used in both selection and repetition structures. Uh, they're the, used in the condition. And so there's a video that kind of goes through and explains that. I think everything is pretty straightforward here. Um, these operators are operators that you should have seen before. Uh, you'll notice that I did include some try it live here just for fun. So here, uh, this is a little example uh, with a logical and, I believe. So if the pay type is H for hourly and the hours is greater than 40, uh, then uh, they're going to get overtime. So if I did salary with hours of 50, they get regular pay with no overtime. But if I did hourly with hours of 50, they do get overtime. Okay, so you can kind of play with these. Uh, they're basically executing the if statements and displaying information back to you. Uh, if you want more information about comparison and logical operators, I do have a link here to W3Schools. Uh, then we get into selection structures. And like I said, uh, the three selection structures that we cover are the same three that are in other programming languages. So I don't think that there's going to be any real surprises here. Um, if you want to execute more than one line of code, uh, you do have to put it in curly braces. Okay. And so I do think this is pretty self-explanatory. However, I did include um, a video that you can watch that kind of goes through all of this with you. And then once you get done with the selection structures, if you want to learn more about switch statements and work with some interactive examples, I have a link to that. And then we kind of move on to repetition structures. Uh, and so while, do while, for, and then we have another one called for in. So there's actually four different ones. Uh, and um, there is a link so you can work with some live examples. And then uh, each one of those is explained in a video. And then you'll notice that there's links to different programs that you can take a look at. And so there's a video for the while statement. There's a video for the do while and examples. There's a video for the four. Okay, so all very interactive. Then we get down to uh, break and continue and where you would use each of those. And then finally type conversion. This is kind of interesting because JavaScript is a loosely typed language. Um, then Sometimes it's hard to determine if a variable is true or false. And so in JavaScript, they refer to things as being truthy or falsy. <laughs> so, which um, is kind of interesting. Uh, there are only six falsy values. Obviously, false is falsy, undefined, null, zero, an empty string, or not a number. Okay, these would all test as false. Um, so kind of take a look at the table. The things that I thought might surprise you, I tried to uh, kind of highlight them in red. They're kind of the gotchas <laughs> of this truthy, falsy thing. Uh, so take a look at the table. And uh, then finally down here, uh, kind of an interesting little variation of the logical or. 
um, in a logical or you can basically set up uh, equal or assignment statement to assign it to one value. However, if that's empty, you can have it assign a second value. And then uh, it will only get to the third one if the first two are empty. So that's kind of a interesting take on an assignment statement. Okay, and so once you finish going through all of that, you're gonna work on your programming assignment. And so uh, first thing you'll do is create those folders uh, for the structure. And then uh, the files and the graphics that you need to copy are within the tasks themselves. And so here is the first file that you'll put in lesson three, and this will go into lesson three and media. Make sure you watch the video uh, because that actually, like you can read through here and it tells you what to do, but I think you'll really understand what you're supposed to do if you watch the video. So make sure you watch that video uh, because it does explain exactly what you need to do here. Uh, then uh, we are working with repetition. Uh, so you're going to download the favorite web page and a graphic. And then you're basically going to create three separate loops, um, a while loop, a do while loop, and a for loop um, that basically accomplish the same thing. Uh, so you'll create the program once with um, the first type of loop, and then you'll save it under a different name and you'll modify the loop. So if you start with a while loop, you'll save it under a different name and modify it to a do while loop. Then you'll open up the while loop and you'll modify it to a for loop and save it under a different name. Okay, And that's uh, basically what the directions are telling you. But again, watch that video because uh, that should make it very clear what you need to do. Uh, now, the last one, there is no video for this uh, because I'm giving you an example. So <laughs> the code uh, that is in here is similar to what you need to do. Uh, so take a look at the example. So how old are you? You're gonna plug in your age, uh, month till your birthday, calculate, shows you how old you are, okay? Uh, so if you right click and view the page source, the JavaScript is shown and you're gonna need to do something similar, but instead of calculating the age, you guys are gonna be calculating the BMI, which is the body mass index. And here is the math that you need to use for the BMI. So instead of doing the little age calculation, wherever that might be, which is right here, you are gonna do the BMI calculation instead. And so you're gonna to need to kind of format the page um, so that it makes sense with a BMI. So that's something to do with fitness. <laughs> um, you're gonna have them enter the weight and the height instead of their age and the months until their birthday. You're going to calculate and it should show the BMI below that. Okay, and then once your pages are completed, add the links to your assignment page and transfer everything up to the web. And then this is the scoring rubric so you can see how many points everything is worth. Once you finish that, come into the Dropbox, submit done, and then move on to the quiz. Uh, the quiz will not be open until the 31st, and you get three shots at this quiz. It will take your highest score and record it. It is open book, open note. Um, when you submit, you'll know if you got it wrong or not, but the, of course, it's not going to show you the right answer um, because you get to take this three times. <laughs> so um, the question types that you see on this test are similar to the types of questions that you will see on the certification exam. 
Okay. And so practicing doing those types of questions will only help you do better on the exam itself. Uh, finally, there is a PowerPoint presentation that the textbook book author provides on decisions and loops. And then if you could fill out the course survey, that would be awesome. If you run into problems, make sure you transfer those pages to the web so I can look. Because with JavaScript, I actually have to see your page live online. And then I can kind of, you know, look in the developer panel, try to figure out what the problem is. Um, so make sure you get everything transferred, ask for help if you need it, and have an awesome week.